Hello guys, today we are going to learn about the kidneys, the internal structure of the kidney. This is the this is our kidney. The outer covering of the kidney is called as the renal capsule. Always remember wherever the renal comes, it means something related to the kidney. So renal capsule is a capsule or a covering which is on the kidney. This capsule, the renal capsule, protects the kidney against any infection or an injury. Now other than this renal capsule, two more layers are present. One is the fat layer which is made up of adipose tissue and on that a fibrous tissue which is called as renal fascia. Both of these, the adipose tissue layer or the fat layer and the fascia layer or the tissue layer protects the kidney. On the kidney, an adrenal gland is present. Now, this renal fascia, the most important fascia or the most important layer which connects or which anchors the kidney to the abdominal layer now you can see this is the kidney this part the light orange part is our kidney this yellowish part is the renal fascia which is anchoring the kidney to the abdominal layer so this renal fascia is very important so three layers are the renal fascia the renal capsule and the adipose tissue layer. Three layers are present on the kidney. Now let's talk about the internal structure of the kidney. Two main portions are there. One, the cortex and the medulla. The layer which just come after the renal capsule is called the cortex. So this portion is called as the cortex. Inside the cortex, there is a pyramidical shaped structure are visible. You can see here. These pyramids are present, the straighted light colored structure is present which is called as renal medulla. So just after the capsule a portion is present which is called as the cortex and after that in between the cortex a uh, pyramidical shaped structure is present which is called as renal medulla. Between these renal medulla a renal column is present. Between the pyramids renal column is present now after that you can see that this striated pyramidical structure is divided into different pyramids these pyramids are called as the renal pyramids these are the renal pyramids these renal pyramids ends at the part of minor calyx which further terminates into major calyx this major calyx further goes to the renal papillae. You can see here this is the uh, renal medulla which have straighted structure containing different pyramids. These pyramids narrows or ends at the renal papillae. So these are the renal papillae. These renal papillae goes to the minor calyx. This minor calyx further moves to the major calyx. This part is the minor calyx and this one is the major calyx which further terminates into the renal pelvis. This portion is called as renal pelvis which further goes to the ureter. We know that the ureter is the part which connects kidney through the urinary bladder. Now you, if you can see this portion is the convex side and this is the concave side. This concave side or the entrance point is called as hilum. Sometimes it is called also called as hilus. This is the point from where different arteries, veins, lymph enters and move out from the kidney. So this is the full structure of the kidney. The main two are the cortex and the medulla. Medulla is the part which is a triangular shaped pyramids are present and then these pyramids are ends at the minor calyx which further goes to the major calyx it goes to the renal palace which finally terminates from the kidney through the ureter so this is the internal structure of our kidney a very important structure is also present which is not visible in this picture it is structure and functional unit of the kidney which is known as nephron in other videos we will learn about these nephrons. I hope you understand this concept of the internal structure of kidneys. Thank you. Tutorialspoint.com. Simply easy learning.